Hi, I'm Pat Sullivan, Fire Chief, Harrison County Fire Rescue. Thursday afternoon, we, Harrison County, experienced heavy torrential downpours in primarily in the wool market area. Uh, the emergency responders received multiple calls of street flooding, uh, water near the homes, um, possibly potentially water getting into homes. Uh, we responded to the to the areas in wool market that were were affected and found that there were streets that were uh, impassable, uh, streets that had uh, flooding, and there were actually vehicles that were in the floodwaters. Responders from the Harrison County Fire Rescue, Harrison County Sheriff's Department, and the road Harrison County Road Department uh, went to the areas, assessed the the, the situation, uh, put barricades in in areas to close the road to keep any more vehicles from going in there, uh, rescued the people that were in the vehicles and got the vehicles out of the water. Um, there was a couple of areas that the road started to um, to collapse and, and have issues with. Uh, the road department brought crews out and did uh, temporary emergency repairs in these areas to, to, to shore up the road. Um, this is one of those events that, that it wasn't from the river flooding as much as it was from, from heavy torrential rains um, that, that inundated the area in a short period of time. Right now we still have water crossing the road. As you can see behind me, there's, there's water that's, uh, that's crossing. Um, that's very dangerous. We have barricades up. The barricades are, are put there to keep people from, from going around because there's a danger on the other side of those barricades. We're asking people not to go around the barricades, not to drive through water that they don't see the bottom or don't, can't tell how deep it is, can't tell if the road is washed out and to certainly not drive across an area that you have water running across it. That's very dangerous and people have lost their lives doing that. So we ask people to adhere to the road closure signs, not go through those areas, and not try to get through to the other side and risk uh, getting themselves in, in danger and putting first responders in danger when we have to come rescue you.